Dun, 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 dun. Good morning, good evening, and good night to everyone out there in the internet, whether you're listening to the podcast or on the YouTube show. Once again, it is Lancing with myself, the five-minute weekly show where I talk about being a game designer, especially when you're low on spoons and low on cash. I'm Steve T of Tin Star Games, your host as always. And boy, are we low on spoons this week. This is like week two or three, depending on how you're, how early you started of... of um, isolating from COVID-19 and all its friends um, and uh, we're all going a little bit crazy and a little bit stressed and our spoon count is low. So today I want to talk about the most important thing of all about being an artist is knowing when to stop, when, when to not make art. Now it sounds simple and it's something that we say over and over again. You don't have to keep producing things, you don't have to keep making things but the reason we keep saying it is we live in a culture that is completely controlled by the idea that we are what we output. And it's not just in terms of um, financial output, but about leaving a legacy and about being famous, about being noticed and seen and having an impact. All these things are about what we produce, and what we make and the things we leave behind. Um, and all of these things, you know, this is the pressure on us as a society to do these things, to pass on our genes, to pass on our money and our inheritance, to think about the future. All of these things are putting on us to, to be better, to create, to do more, to create more, to change ourselves, to better ourselves, to reach higher. There, it's an incredible amount of pressure and it comes from every possible aspect. And it comes from fellow artists as well. You know, there's there's a lot of old sores in the creation business. Like, you know, if you want to be a writer, you've got to get up every day and write, no matter what, no matter how bad you feel. You know, Neil Gaiman has a famous speech online where he's like, whatever happens to you, go and make great art. Um, you know, there's just this sense that unless you're creating, look, until very, very recently, there was all those memes on the internet where people were pointing at you and saying, you should be writing. Funny, they've disappeared in the last few years. I wonder why. It's because there's other things on our mind and we've realized, you know, we might not always have the spoons. And that's, you know, one of the whole themes of this podcast is that if you lack spoons and if you lack, you know, financial power, if you lack mental, physical, emotional, social, societal, or, and spiritual health, the six kinds of healths, you can't always create. You just can't. And to try to do that is going to eat into your other healths, you know, when they're already desperately low. Um, and it's just going to eat, either your art's going to suffer because it's not going to be very good. I've got a whole bevy of stories and games that just never got finished because I was trying to do them when I was low on, on spoons or they got finished badly. And poorly because I was low on spoons, you know, and I just had to get them out for a deadline and I didn't have time to, I couldn't put them aside. Or your health is going to suffer and then you're going to die and then you're going to not make any more art, you know, and this is the thing that I know we have this compelling force within us that tells us to make art and it's hard to switch it off, you know, we do these things not because we choose to but because we are compelled but the compelling can chill the fuck out, if you'll pardon my French, just once in a while especially when we're all a little bit anxious, when our spoons are so low, when we're worried about our very lives and our futures. You don't have to make art. It's not your job to hold up a mirror to the universe every second of every day. Art, like every other thing, needs you strong so you can be a powerful voice. And you've got to stay strong. So don't make art. Don't make art. And there are lots of times when you are just not going to have the spoons. Don't fall into the trap of feeling the need to create all the time. Um, for many, many years, I was anxious and depressed and unable to create. And I beat myself with a stick because everything I read said, you have to do it, you have to do it. But I didn't have the capacity and I didn't have a story to tell. You know, one of the most important things I ever read about writing was, was Joss Whedon saying, you know, don't write unless you have a story to tell. Don't game unless you've got a game that you want to, don't game design unless you've got a game that you want to make. Don't try to force blood out of a stone. Like that is the, the key metaphor. You're better if you rest. You're better if you take time. You're better if you just leave it, put it aside. You know, it might be a year, five years, could be 20 years until you are ready. Things ripen at their time. The student, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And when the writer is ready, the pages will come. For some people, you know, they may have a problem with procrastination and that can be an issue, you know. But for most of us, the reason that our 
that we can't pour is because our, our vessel is empty. And there's no shame in that, you know? And that's for, particularly for young kids and young designers. It's like, you often haven't lived yet, you know? It's okay to go and fill up that vessel, however that means, you know? To find things that you believe in and love and, and stories you want to tell and ideas you want to put on a page. You've got to keep filling that vessel up, all right? There's no point forcing every day to pour out an empty vessel. It, it just breaks you and it, it, it helps nobody. And, you know, right now you're going to have more time and you, there'll be a lot of pressure. People have said to me, you know, I have to say I haven't done anything this, this of late. You know, I haven't got back to my game designs lately. I've had to, you know, put things aside. Apologetic tone. And there's no way that we can live like that. So that's today's message is you've got to fill that cup. You've got to fill up your jug before you can pull, pour out from it. And I want you to say to yourself, I'm okay, I have worth and I matter and I have value, even if I don't make any art today or tomorrow or for the rest of my life. I can just be me and that's enough. And I will only pour when my vessel is full. I will wait, I will be patient, and I will forgive myself for not producing and be okay with just being myself. That's your challenge today. Go out and not make games. So be good, pet dogs, play games, have fun, take it easy, stay indoors, be safe, and I'll talk to you next time.